what is going on so I decided to start like a build series because I've been seeing a whole lot of people doing this type of thing and um, I've always had a problem because I never had anything really to build um, I do daily a 335i at the moment that has a couple boltons and a tune and it's making a little bit of power but it's nothing I'd really call a project um, but today I went ahead and actually picked up a project um, so here is my 1995 uh, Honda Civic it is an EG coupe or EJ if you want to call it that whatever I, I don't know um, so anyway it's got a H22A1 swap in it um, here let's get a little closer up in it slight so H22A1 uh, 1320 racing exhaust manifold um, yeah lots lots done to it so from what I've been told it's got a H23 uh, non VTEC crankshaft uh, so it is a 2.3 liter stroker type S pistons high compression um, the head from what I've been told and what it looks like it's probably true uh, it's been shaved down a little bit to raise the compression a tiny bit more um, so it is an all-motor high compression build uh, quite obviously and uh, over here, I don't know if you may have seen it already, but I'm currently installing a little, a little bit of nitrous. Um, previous owner had claimed it made 245 wheel horsepower without any nitrous. Um, on a other tune, he had a Honda in it before, um, and now it's back on a stock ECU with a chip. So we gotta swap that around, but as you can see. Look a radiator, not sure if it's eBay, maybe, haven't looked really. Nice mounts in here, um, all the way around, all four, can't quite see that one here, let's get that. There we go, mounts, real nice, and yeah, oh, it's also gutted, completely cut out, um, not a whole lot going on in there. I already mounted up the bottle a little bit. Batteries in the back. And let's check out underneath here. So here's the back. As you can see, it is all cut out. There is nothing. Uh, lower control arms, coilovers all the way around. Still got the factory gas tank. Uh, I'm not sure if we're going to keep that or salt to a fuel cell. Um, but yeah, it's got Toyo or Triple Eights in the front. And I picked this up for a good price. Oh yeah, the door handle is broken, so I went ahead and drilled a hole, put a zip tie in there, so we can get in and out a lot easier. Uh, quick release steering wheel, factory seats. Um, yeah, fun stuff. All right guys, so uh, near end result here. We got the nitrous solenoids all mounted up. Well, zip tied up anyway. Uh, I got these brackets from a D17 intake manifold that I just had laying around in a pile over there. Um, so it actually worked out pretty, pretty great. Just kind of bolted them together right there and zip tied them right to it. Uh, the fuel still needs to be tapped for the fuel feed. Um, I did get, here, you can see here the fogger is in. I still need to do the PCV, put that back over. Um, and then the wiring, uh, that's that's it. Let's wire up the solenoids. I do have the purge right here, going straight out through the hood. Um, it's rusty, but you know, it's whatever. Uh, it should be coming right through the hood here, nice onto the windshield. Um, so yeah, should be pretty, pretty nice once it's all said and done. Uh, stay tuned. Alright, small update on the Civic. Uh, we got the nitrous solenoids most of the way buttoned up here. So, if you want to look over here, we got uh, the solenoids are all grounded now, so that side of it is done. Um, now we just got to get the switch power going in. I uh, do have the uh, purge solenoid wire going through the duct tape grommet through the firewall here. Um, like I said before, the purge is just going to be going out the hood onto the windshield right here. Ignore the rust on the hood. Um, for the fuel tap, um, I'm going to be tapping into the fuel filter. Um, at the top there is a banjo bolt and there is a company uh, that actually makes a fuel pressure gauge 
and I uh, found somewhere online, I believe it was uh, Amazon or eBay or something of that nature, that actually had just the banjo bolt with the fitting. Um, so I went ahead and ordered that for 10 bucks, and so once that comes in, we'll be uh, ready to go with the nitrous. We'll have the fuel tapped in, um, and everything will be wired up at that time. I did find out that the purge solenoid does leak a little bit, so hopefully I can figure that out and get it to work right. I'm hoping I can power it up and click it on and off a few times and free it up, get it to unleak. <laughs> it's just a small leak anyway, so even if it does, I'll, I'll probably still run it temporarily. And then after that, um, we're pretty much all buttoned up. I still got to get my wideband in the exhaust here. And uh, that's going to go inside. Got a spot all placed up, ready to go. I did take the passenger seat out as well. Um, nitrous bottle there. And so right here, I do have a carbon fiber centerpiece where the AC controllers used to be. I'm going to cut out a couple holes there. One's going to be an oil pressure gauge. The other one will be... Uh, the air fuel gauge for the wideband. Um, otherwise, yeah, we're pretty much set here. I'm probably going to pull out this seat, put a Kirky in there, get some more weight reduction. Uh, like I said before, it is a quick release steering wheel and fully cut in the rear. There is nothing, as you can see, no door skins, no anything. It is, that is it. I mean, it's cut. It is as bare as you can get it, pretty much. It does have factory glass still, so there is weight to be lost there. Uh, the sunroof has also been cut out and replaced with a sign, and that's it. It's bare bones. The battery is huge. Might get a smaller one, but otherwise, yeah. I uh, still have some 205s on the rear. So yeah guys, that's the main overview on the car. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to let me know. This is gonna be a really budget build. Um, I'm gonna see how cheaply I can hit a 10 second quarter mile, and then if we do that, then I guess I'll just go for nines. Um, again, it's really budget. The car itself I got for a steal, um, and I'm gonna have a grand total of less than $2,000 into the car. <laughs> including buying the car. So, um, like I said, I'm gonna see if I can hit a 10 second quarter mile on a 100 shot of nitrous, and let's get it done. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any questions for me, feel free to leave them in the comments. Um, I'll answer as many as I can, and even make another video for you if I feel the topic deserves a whole video. Um, any specific instructional videos you may want, anything you want me to do over the car, Again, it's a complete budget build, so anything that you wouldn't necessarily do to your car, let me know. I may try it out, see if it works.